Protective orders should not be sought lightly. While protective orders have provided an enormous benefit to the community and to genuine victims of abuse, a great many protective orders are filed fraudulently and or granted on an insufficient basis. The courts seem to err on the side of granting at least the ex parte protective order so that there can be protection for the petitioner if needed until the hearing can be held and a real determination made on the merits. The protections protective orders offer in a truly abusive relationship can help a victim to leave the relationship, but they can also increase certain challenges. Their use can complicate the problems inherent in divorce and create ramifications in many other aspects of the party's lives. Protective orders can be very important for people who have found it difficult to leave the abusive relationship before for the very reason that they cut off communication between the parties. But if the parties are interested in reconciling, protective orders may not be the best choice exactly because they make communication so difficult and drive a wedge between people. And if communication is attempted, it may result in enhanced criminal charges for the other party, again, making communication difficult and straining relations. This is another situation in which both therapy and consulting with your attorney would help you decide what is best.